What's going on everybody? It's your boy J Money, aka No Money, and we're back here today with some more Pokemon Go Go Battle League for you guys. And this time we're gonna be in the Ultra League with the Premier uh Premier Cup, Premier League as you wanna say it. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get ready over here. Everybody, hope you've been having a good season so far. Great league, I was actually pretty um pretty successful in the Great League. Uh got to I believe I'm rank eight. I'm almost at nine. I missed a couple days of battling, got really busy with school, work, life, etc. It happens. But let's go ahead and take a look at the team we have today. So we're gonna have our Shadow Electivire, Rock and Thundershock, Ice Punch, and Wild Charge. I can see in the move set in the side over there. Um, best thing about Electivire is it, it's so spammy. It gets those moves so quickly. And as you can see, the IVs I have right here, they're not the best, but you know they were pretty good when I first got it. So I was pretty excited to go get it. Next up, we're gonna have our Shadow Machamp, Rock and that Counter, Cross Chop, and Rock Slide. Again, another super spammy and strong Pokemon. Counter damage from Shadow Machamp is absolutely no joke and can definitely take down even the resisted flyers. So you're gonna see in a few battles here that I'm gonna do with right now. And last but not least, we're gonna have our probably our best safe switch for this team right now. It's gonna be the Alolan Muck. I know we have a huge ground weakness in Electivire and Muck. Um, it's just that there's not a lot of ground types besides Swampert, and Swampert is pretty frail in its own. And if we can somehow get some good matchups against it, maybe some energy advantages and whatnot, then Hopefully we can take down the one and only Swampert, but besides that, not many other ground types. Uh, maybe Toxicroak Mud Bomb, but that's about it as I can think of. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these battles. Alright, so I... If I'm not playing live, I normally just do it right before bed, get a set in before bed, record it if it's good, if it's not, then uh, I'll just review what I my, my mistakes were, so... In this battle, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a Charizard lead, which is definitely favorable for us. We're going to go for the Ice Punch here as they bail as we get their shield and they bail. Now we're going to go for the Wild Charge and bail ourselves. So let's see if this is going to go through and bam, Metagross gone. And we switch into our Alola Muck to get a little bit of a energy advantage on whatever comes in. It's going to be a Charizard. Now I was fearing the Blast Burn here, which, you know, did come out. They invested a shield. I invested a shield. So why not? And I knew this was too quick to be Blast Burn, so why not just let it go? And it's a Dragon Claw. Perfect for us. So we're in a really good situation here. We've got energy. We're throwing a Dark Pulse. They shield. They got no shields left. And let's just keep tossing these Dark Pulses. To be honest, I feel like if I toss a Sludge Wave here, it probably would have taken him out. But I was fearing that he would get to another Charge Move, which he did right away. And it's going to be a Dragon Claw, which we survive. And we can just Snarl down a little bit. And hey, look, it's a Venusaur. So that said, Sludge Wave is going to be coming through. Kind of glad I saved... Uh, the way it went down was Dark Pulse and Sludge Wave, so I was able to Sludge Wave the Venusaur. Now, in comes a Frenzy Plant, and of course my champ's not going to take that well, but I need to preserve the health for um, that Charizard later. And you know what? Charizard's going to take our champ down, but we can just Snarl down with Electivire. Uh, snarl down. Thundershock down with Electivire, so we took a win there, and we still had a shield left, so GG to my opponent there. So, man, this team... A lot of success with this team. I love this team. Um, one thing though is that uh, my recording got cut off on the first set, so I lost my last two battles. I lost one and won one, but I couldn't um, recover those two, so I was pretty sad about that. So we're just gonna go three battles and straight into another set. So you're gonna see right here. So we get the Magnezone lead. Uh, obviously, we're both gonna be resisting each other's moves. His mirror shot's not gonna do much. My ice punch isn't gonna do much. His wild charge isn't gonna do much. And it's just going to be like a huge uh, trade-off right there. So I got the Wild Charge off, and I'm out. I go straight into uh, Lola Muck, and he goes straight into Gyarados. And it's a Dragon Breath Gyarados, so I'm able to charge up to almost two Dark Pulses. Um, yeah, Gyarados is not the tankiest thing. Uh, you're definitely going to need some shields for it. But, you know, the opponent decides to let one go through. And he's going to try to Dragon Breath me down as much as possible. I have no shields left. You know, that beginning fight of just Wild Chargers going up against each other was just a little much. So he gets up another Aqua Tail and I'm like, fine, go ahead. And then I come in here with my Electivire and just farm it down and I have another Wild Charge. So whatever comes in is definitely getting Wild Charge and it's going to be a Machamp. So I'm going to save the Wild Charge for later. Definitely could have just Wild Charge there and then dipped out into Machamp and just cleaned it up. Uh, so this battle definitely could have been done a lot cleaner, but in the end, you know, it was still a W, I'll take a W, but like I said, the ending could have been a lot cleaner had I just wild charged, switched out, then countered everything down with my champ. But it's all good, you know, we still took the W and we'll take it. Alright, so this is the third battle now, and yeah, right after this battle is when my battle got cut off, 
Um, like I said, I was uh, playing in my sleep and then, you know, something happened. My girlfriend woke up, got into a little fight, so I had to stop recording and stop playing. And that kind of just ruined like my groove. I was in such a groove, man. But I mean, you know, for all those out there that understand. Once again, another Charizard lead. So Charizard lead has been very popular recently because of just Venusaur's everywhere. Obama Snow with that buff. Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, I've been seeing a lot of people use Exeggutor as well, like, you know, and, you know, more more power to them. Charizard lead is absolutely amazing. I actually have another squad that I did really successful, I was really successful with. I recorded two whole sets with that one, with a Charizard lead, so if you guys are subscribed, please stay for that one. Tr promise you guys won't, won't be disappointed. As we get another W there, the opponent just completely backs out because they know they have no chance of winning that one. Personally, I feel like that Swampert probably could have Hydro counted everything in his face and maybe earthquake the muck, but you know to each their own. So here we have a Venusaur, very interesting matchup against us. But one thing I do know for sure is that we get to our ice punches quicker than he can get to his frenzy plants. Now he's gonna charge up a little bit extra here, which might be a little scary for us, but it's no biggie because now he brings in a Alola muck, and I'm like, sure, why not? I have almost two wild charges. Let's go ahead and toss one. He shields it, and I'm out. Uh, I was expecting Dark Pulse here. That was kind of quick. It was like three snarls. So definitely, definitely, definitely. If you're playing Pokemon Go PvP, you definitely need to know the counts of the fast moves and how many fast moves it takes to get to a charge move. Definitely important to know that. Uh, especially in Great League. Uh, Azumarill needs five bubbles to get to an Ice Beam, six to get a Play Rough, seven to get to Hydro Pump. If you can count properly, you'll be able to switch out or shield or basically understand how the game is going to go from there like it's just kind of like it's kind of like chess you got to know your basic moves right but anyway so now our machamp goes down to his machamp but now we bring in our alola muck i did not want our electivire getting hit with the cross drop so we bring in our alola muck and you know i was like let's just go ahead and see if we can take this thing down he's gonna be able to counter us down and i was like damn i wish i got to that like earlier Go into our Electivire, toss the Ice Punch right away, and we take the W right there. I'm not sure if the Venusaur had any energy left. I just said, you know what, screw it. No shields left on the field. Let's toss the Ice Punch. All right. So I think this might be the first battle of the second set that I was trying to record. So in comes a Clefable. So yes, Charm. Charm will do heavy damage to us. We're a Shadow. We're going to be taking 20% more damage. But it's okay. I was able to get to an Ice Punch and I'm going to toss the Wild Charge here. If they don't shield this, they're basically out. And not out, but they live on red. So it's all good. Now we bring in our Alolan Muck and we try to snarl this thing down as they toss a Meteor Mash. And we're just going to, yeah, snarl the whole thing down. Um, I feel like Pokemon with uh, Snarl, maybe Confusion, if they get an Energy Advantage, it's kind of tough to play against because charge moves are a thing and charge moves will definitely hurt if you have the energy advantage over the opponent and especially if they don't have the proper counters as we bring in our shadow machamp on the regular machamp as we go ahead and just counter it down we have tons of energy they have a shield left let's go ahead and toss a cross chop can i get to another one yes i think they're a little greedy here trying to get uh, a farm down on us but we're able to get to another cross chop and take them down as we win with one more shield on our side as well still all right so the next battle here um, I was noticing a lot of queue times uh, for this one, so I had to be pausing in between uh, queue times. So another Clefable lead. So we saw how this one worked out earlier. Let's go for the Ice Punch and see if we can Wild Charge the next one, whether he shields it or not. Oh, whoopsies. What happened there? <laughs> so we got the Wild Charge off and yeah. The Clefable goes down, in comes Gengar, and I switch out, and then into my Machamp, and Machamp's gonna be absolutely putting a world of hurt on that Alolan Muck. Alright. There we go. Now I was trying to do something on my OBS, and then I accidentally clicked something, and I'm like, whoops. Alright. Missed the Wild Charge on the Clefable, but it's fine. You guys saw the ending, at least. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this up because I thought it would have been a sludge wave. Um, I was counting correctly, but he decided to bait me with a dark pulse. And I thought to myself, I need to get this thing out of the way. And in comes Gengar and I have my Alolan Muck ready for it. Now, if it had Focus Blast ready, it definitely would have hurt my Alolan Muck. But 
we were able to get to the Dark Pulse quicker and boom, goes the Gengar. Alright, next battle here, Cycle Lover, rank 8, rank 8. Uh, I did battle a few rank 9s recently, so yeah, I mean, wow, Dragon, Dragonite Shadow. If this Ice Punch goes through, it's gone, but considering it's a Shadow, I knew that they were probably going to try and preserve it because of how much damage it's dealing. And let's see how much this Dragon Claw does, okay, it gets about like 25%. A little bit more, 30. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and Dark Pulse thing. I know he's probably going to want to shield it, which he does it. And he gets to another Dragon Claw. And I'm like, all right, go ahead take my Lola Muck out. I'll just rely on my two heavy hitters in the back to um, continue this battle. As I get to a Dark Pulse, luckily, because uh, Snorlax's Lick, we're definitely being resisted by our Muck as we go down to one more Lick. And now I have a choice. I'm just waiting for the time to go up. And then, boom, bring in the Machamp. I thought he was going to switch, but I decided to stay in, and I'm going to go ahead and preserve my health. And he throws in a superpower, and boom, I'm able to get to an Ice Punch right away as he switches into his Gengar, and I'm here with my Shadow Electivire. And he takes us out. We have a shield left. I'm going to want to preserve my health because I don't know how much energy that Sorlax has. He just did throw a superpower though, so maybe he might be at zero. Goes for double shadow punch. The second one doesn't do as much. I was actually surprised it didn't do as much as I thought it was going to be. Then I realized, you know, it's just a shadow punch. It is stabbed from a Gengar though, so. And then the opponent definitely just switches out, um, switches out, backs out. And I thought, wow, maybe he could have gone to a body slam, you know? But I guess he thought he couldn't. He didn't have any energy at all. And I was like one or two counters away, so. Kudos to him. Good battle. And now we're met with another Venusaur lead. And I think this one was, yeah, this one's a Vine Whip one. I thought it was a Razor Leaf one. I think I uh, encountered a Razor Leaf one in the other set, but yeah. So yeah, same thing. I'm able to get to my uh, Ice Punches a lot quicker than he is to get to his Frenzy Plants. And I'm just going to be pressuring shields like crazy with Electivire. As one goes through, I'm going to go switch out to my Alola Muck. And I thought I could catch a Frenzy, but he actually stayed out. And wow. Uh, I decided to go for the Dark Pulse. Uh, I had enough for a Sludge Wave, so let's see if he shields it. He doesn't. Um, good call on my opponent. And I'm just going to let him take our Alola Muck down here, basically. So I'm going to go for another Dark Pulse and see if he's going to go ahead and shield. So we can grab their last shield. And we don't get the shield again. I'm like, wow, is, am I going to be able to get the shield at all? And right now, I feel like my opponent's like, well, maybe he should shield now. In which he doesn't. So I'm like, okay, um, I'm okay with that. And in comes my Electivire again. I switch back into it. I didn't want to get farmed down. So if anything, I just switch out and boom. Gyarados doesn't want to switch out. So we're going to stay in. And obviously I'm going to shield this. Aqua Tail coming in. I have an Ice Punch ready. I knew he was going to switch out. I knew he was going to switch out. So I toss the Ice Punch. But he hit us with a Frenzy Plant. So I was like, what in the world, dude? He got me right on time. And, you know, this guy knew, definitely knew what he was doing. But he's able to Dragon Breath our um, Muck down, but our Machamp is at full health. And if I can get to a cross chop, I can just counter it down because I didn't know how much he had left for an Aqua Tail, which he didn't. So we took it right there, guys. So that was uh, that was a 5 0 for you guys. I wish I could have record, um, recorded the other two battles from the other um, set. I was missing two of them and I couldn't recover them. So I was like, ah, it's okay. I'll upload this as well. And that's it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And if you guys are still here with me right now, thank you so much for staying. I would like for you guys to check out the Pokemon Go PvP Fight Club as I have been um, heavily involved with them. I have been doing all the editing for their battles. And uh, yeah, basically, something like this, you know? I'll go ahead and put the link to the battles in the description, other battles, but the page in the description, I'm going to go ahead and link it up there, show you guys what we're all about, we all love to have fun, we all love to talk smack, we all love to be ourselves, and you know, we're hosting a tournament right now for the Great League, so hopefully we can get a few more members out of you guys, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.